Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In this episode, we are going to focus on the Royal Family of Oasis Springs, specifically Prince Jared, who is walking away currently. Um, he is actually, so he is now a young adult. Um, and if you have seen the past episodes, you know that he is having a, a fling with uh, this girl named Nina, who is also a young adult now. Um, but she comes from a very poor family, but uh, Prince Jared is actually engaged by his parents to be married to Lady Lindsay. So what he is doing right now is about to go break it off with Lady Lindsay. Um, so her house is right here. So he is going to go knock on that door. Um, and so this is going to be a huge deal, but he is going to break it off with Lady Lindsay first, and then he's planning on telling his parents about Nina. Um, just because it's now that they're young adult, um, they just really want to get married, um, and he just needs to know if they're going to approve or if they're not going to approve. Um, so I guess we're going to have to see what happens. Um, and I don't really know if, like, they always take it badly if, if the sim breaks up with them. So we'll see how Lady Lindsay is going to take this. So it looks like she's playing with her own nep nephew right now. Um, but I think he could just ask to be friends and it should be okay. But why don't we just, I'm going to just talk to her first. Um, I'll just ask her about her day and see how she's feeling first before we just, you know, like, stop her. Um, so he is going to talk to her and we should probably bring her outside and, and not, um, not do this in front of her family. So we'll do that. Um, and then we can see how this pans out. Okay, so he's just talking to her first a little bit. Um, and then he's going to tell her that he just wants to be friends. So I think he might actually be telling her right now. Um, I, I mean, it seems like she took it pretty well. If I mean, if you're asking to be friends, I'm sure that it would be fine. Like, they weren't even really... I didn't have that much of a romantic relationship. Plus, Lady Lindsay um, and... and uh, Prince Jared's brother, Prince Adrian, they also kind of have a little bit of a thing. So I'm sure she would, if anything, be a little bit relieved because I'm sure she felt it too, that they were kind of forced together when they were younger um, by their parents. So I think it should be okay. So I think he did tell her. Yeah. So he did tell her that he just wants to be friends. So yeah, that was easy. She took it really well, actually. I was surprised. I was expecting her to like be mad and take it badly but it doesn't look like he uh she did at all so um so the next step then is to tell his parents so we need to go ahead and do that um and i, I don't know if we should bring nina over too um but i know so prince adrian already knows something's up so i, I think it would be time to tell the parents next um, and I, I, I don't know how well this is going to go. I don't think the parents would react very well, especially since he is the heir to the throne. Like, if it was Prince Adrian, I think that would be another story. Um, but since it's Prince Jared, I don't, and he's supposed to be king, they're going to want someone who has, like, noble blood and who comes from a good family as well. Okay, so we have made it home back to the Oasis Springs Palace. I think I did decide that I want, um, oh, not Lady Lindsay, um, I do want Nina to come here, um, and we are going to introduce ourselves to her. So, I think that, um, when she's here, basically what we'll do is, like, have them meet, um, the family, and then Prince Jared's just going to kind of, like, break the news. So, he's inviting her over now, um, she should be available to come over. They seem to be chatting for a really long time. Okay, Nina Shepard will be right over. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't seen Nina yet, um, she's adorable, she's super sweet, and I, I mean, if she came from the right family, she, I feel like the parents would definitely like her, but since she doesn't, I don't think, um, I, I, I think that's what they see most, and that's what's more important to them, is kind of where they come from. So she has just arrived, um... I think we're going to, let's see, it looks like everyone's swimming in the pool right now, um, or at least the, uh, the king is, and the king actually is now an elder, so he has, um, become an elder, he is, he's still, I mean, he's pretty young, he, like, just turned into an elder, and, um, his mother's also an adult still, so he's got some time before he would even, 
take the throne if he if they will still let him. So I am going to have him. So he's gonna talk to Nina um, and let her in because it looks like she's just at the front door right now. So I'm gonna let Nina in. Um, and then so why don't I want to kiss her? Um, and then hopefully the parents won't see that quite yet. Oh, it looks like I have to still uh, add some wallpaper to this wall. I didn't even notice that those were missing. So I definitely should do that. I'll do that later. I won't do that right now. Okay, so it looks like uh, the queen is already going to go ahead and chat with Nina. That sounds like she must have heard them at the door. Um, King Easton, what's he planning on doing? It doesn't look like he's heading towards Nina. But he does need to change out of his bathing suit. So we're going to do that. Um, and then we can have him go talk to Nina as well. Um, so Queen Arya is on her way. She looks like she's wearing her um, cold weather outfit. So, okay. So it looks like she's actually met Nina. It could have just been in passing at like some other place. So she's met her before. So I'm sure she'd be like, oh, like I recognize you. Um, so we're going to, oh, why are you posing for pictures? So she is going to talk to Nina. Um, I guess she would ask her about her career and kind of just like question her a little bit first because I'm sure she doesn't really know where she comes from. Um, and, and Prince Jared is also like he's already joined the political career since that's what like the heir to the thrones they have to do. Um, so he's like just started. But I mean, I don't even know how far he's going to get before his parents... Okay, so she's just found out that Nina's unemployed. So she's like, okay. Um, and then she has to ask about her family, too, which I know isn't really, like, a thing on here. But we're going to try to get to know her. Um, and then the king is going to come... Oh, and she just saw that. Definitely. So I'm sure she's very curious as to who the heck this girl is. Okay, so Prince Jared is telling them right now about Nina. So we'll see how they take it. So I, I, I don't know if that was him telling them right now. Um, uh oh. Oh, okay. He told them. Yep. All right. They're not too happy about it right now. Oh gosh. It. I love like in between though. Like in between the yelling, they're like smiling. So it's really really awkward. I think he's trying to explain himself. You can see Prince Adrian in the background just walking by. Like, he's probably trying to listen and spy on them and see what's going on. So I think Prince Jared... Oh, he's trying to explain himself, and it's definitely not working. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Prince Jared's running away. Wait, he just walked away from that? Oh, they are not happy with Nina at all. Oh, God. Okay. Well, it looks like the King Queen did not take it well. Yeah, alright. The queen's like, alright, leave. Bye. We don't want to see you anymore. Oh god. Okay. Well, oh, and now they're cursing at her. Well, that did not go that well. Um, and he's also trying to say bye to her, so we'll see if she actually does leave. I don't know how even, like, how she's, like, she, okay, she just looks mad. She definitely looks mad. So the king and queen have now sat Prince Jared down um, to talk to him about Nina, and I feel like they'd basically just be explaining how bad this would be for uh, their kingdom and, and the reputation of the royal family, just because um, they would not, like, the kingdom would not understand why the, the new queen would be someone who is from this poor family. Like, she has no experience, she doesn't know how to run a kingdom, she's not been trained in any of this, um, so clearly, I mean, they're just so angry. And, and King Easton, I feel like, is a lot more angrier than Queen um, Arya is, just because she, like, like it's more important to him, really, and, and uh, Prince Jared is such, like, a mama's boy. So um, she, she's angry, and she knows how upsetting this is, but she also, like, loves her son so much still. So they're just trying to reason with each other and trying to explain. Like, right now, it looks like they've actually cooled off a little bit. Um, but let's see how that... So this, honestly, like has taken a huge toll. And surprisingly, none of them are angry. Like, this is not really affected anybody's mood. Um, but their relationship has definitely taken a toll. So, let's see. It looks like King Easton and Prince Jared, like, they're definitely, um, like, the friendship is lowered completely. They used to be really good friends and have a close relationship, and now they're not anymore. Um, 
So I think they've just given up for the night, um, and they're kind of going to leave it at this. So I think Prince Jared, um, just as angry as he is, would leave. Um, he's probably going to go check on Nina to make sure that she's okay, because she just got chewed out by the king and queen of the kingdom that she lives in. So they could easily just, ex is it not expel, but um, what's the word? Ex, ex, just, uh, whatever the word is. Oh, dis, dis, ban, I forgot the word. <laughs> Um, whatever that word is that kicks him out of the kingdom, um, I can't think of it right now, and I all know, I know you guys all know exactly what I'm talking about, so yeah, anyway, um, but she is probably a little frightened, and I don't think she would have told her parents yet, because she probably doesn't want to worry them, but Prince Jared is definitely, like, he knows her parents, um, and they know how hard it is, uh, for, for them if they were to be together. Okay, I don't know what's happening to the game right now. It's just taking forever to load. Um, but I just saw all this stuff. Like, it looked like there was a fire for a second there. Let's see. Okay, so he is going to go to the Shepherd residence, and you will see how poor they are. They only have one bedroom, um, and they have a couch. So, like, it's Nina and her parents, um, and, and a couch and one bedroom. So Nina has to sleep on the couch. Um, that's how poor they are. So she, I mean, she works as a barista right now. She's trying to help them pay. Um, she definitely wants to get, like, a new bed, which I think that Prince Jared could totally buy for her if he really wanted to. Um, but he's just gonna go check on her. Okay, so Prince Jared is officially angry, but he's going to go knock on the door, and hopefully this will try to calm himself down, as well as, I, I don't know if Nina's still angry. Oh, well, now he's happy, okay. <laughs> so, oh, from, from feeling great, from high needs. Um, so, let's see, is she still angry? We are going to have to see. So, yeah, they have a few couches. Um, let's, let's, I guess we can deep conversation, because they need to have a serious talk now to see what they're going to do. Oh, he just kissed her on the cheek. It looks like she's okay. Um, and the parents are right there, too, so he's just... Okay, so why don't we, um... We're gonna... We're gonna... Why don't we go chat? Ask about day. Do you want to go on a date? I'm already here. Okay. Well, I guess they're gonna go on a date to talk about this. Okay, so this conversation is so serious that they had to um, go out and discuss it somewhere else. So I think that, um, why don't we hold hands because, okay, so she is really angry right now. Um, and I mean, as she should be because the king and queen just chewed her out. So he's going to try to brighten her day and make her feel a little bit better. Um, and then, let's see, why don't we go sit on this oh, buy item? Oh, we're at the store, I guess? Oh, I thought we were going to the bar, but okay. I guess we are going shopping now. Um, so we can just chat out here. So we need to definitely try to calm her down. Um, oh, and we already calmed her down, so that's good. Um, so let's, why don't we have a deep conversation? Um, and then why don't we... I, I think with Nina, um, now that they can be openly like in a relationship, um, because even though... Like, the parents don't approve of it before they couldn't be in an open relationship because he was with Lady Lindsay. Um, and with Lady Lindsay, like, the fact that he was still with her, he can't really, like, also have another girlfriend. So now that he broke up with her, um, we're going to ask her to be our girlfriend. Um, and let's see if she says yes, even after everything that happened. Oh, I don't even know what happened. You're supposed to ask her to be your girlfriend. And she's leaving. All right. Okay, ask to be girlfriend. She's talking to a random person. She's talking to the paparazzi. Okay, okay, good. She did say yes. So now they are boyfriend and girlfriend. So they are, like, they can tell people about each other now. They are out in public. So people are starting to know about him and Nina, which to, I mean, that's not going to go well with the, the, his parents. Oh, the mom is so upset that she's sick. <laughs> I feel like that's what happened. Okay, so um, so now I'm sure they're going to start hearing things from other people and saying that they've seen their son and the prince with like some girl that nobody knows who she is. So um, the parents are definitely going to hear rumors and stuff about that. Um, so I I think with them, so they'll they'll chat a little bit, but we also have to go to Prince Adrian because um, with him. 
he's now able to make a move on with Lady Lindsay. Um, and, and I feel like his parents would be okay with that because, I mean, if, if they're probably hoping that um, Lady Lindsay will still be with Prince Jared, um, and they're hoping that maybe she can convince him, like, not to be with this girl, but they also know that, like, if Prince Jared doesn't want to be with her, maybe he, they could find someone else for him who is from a noble family, um, that he would click with more. Oh, well, she's sleeping, okay. Um, but, so, so maybe they can find someone for Prince Jared, but, I mean, he's definitely, I think, just perfect with Lady, uh, not with Lady, uh, perfect with Nina. Um, and let's see. Okay, so Nina is shopping right now, so he'll probably try to buy her some some really cute things and and see uh, what stuff she wants. He'd probably buy her a bed too. So I think we're definitely going to have to upgrade their house because he would totally do that for her. Um, I think he's just so in love with her. Um, and now he's happy that they finally got it off of their chest um, and told his parents about them. So with Prince Adrian, um, let's see, is Lady Lindsay still sleeping? Well, probably, but I'll probably save that for another episode, um, with Prince Adrian and Lady Lindsay, so we'll give it some time to kind of cool off, because I don't think that they would try to, like, make a move right away. I think they would kind of, like, let things pass a little bit. So, um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Um, I know it was just, like, kind of a, a good amount of drama. Um, but for the next episode, we are going to focus on the royal family of Windenburg again. Um, and Princess Cora, she's the eldest daughter of the Windenburg royal family. She has been dating, um, Sir Javin. And he is one of, part of one of the noble families of Willow Creek. So Prince Jav or uh, Sir Javin has actually been an adult for a while now, and Princess Cora has kind of like kept him at at bay. So he is kind of like confused with her, I think, and just like feels like he's not like she's not really returning the same feelings that he has. Um, so rumor has it he has um, met the um, famous actress actress Judith. Ward, and they have been, been spending a lot of time together. So I think we're going to focus that on the next episode, and you guys can kind of see what is going on with that. But thank you guys again so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and we will see you all the next episode.